What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna do something a little different. If you're into makeup or beauty at all, you know currently right now the makeup industry is inundated with foundations. Seeing as how I feel like I just need everything. I don't need one other thing! Not what I need this! I got those new releases. I looked online and saw that a bunch of people had already posted reviews on both of the two new foundations. The Lancome Tinidol Ultra Wear Care and Glow, which is new, and the Hourglass Ambient Soft Glow Foundation, which is new. And like the rest of the beauty community out there, I really was gonna do a video on each of these, but I was looking and I was just like, why? Why do that when there's already so many reviews on each of these individually? So what we're gonna do today actually is put these on side by side so you can see which one you might actually want and you don't have to buy both. Just me, just me, I, I did, I did that. So I haven't actually tried either of these. This is the first time for me. We're gonna put them side by side, do some up close so you guys can see the difference between of them and then layer them with products also to see how these play well with other products. And uh, yeah, let's get into the stuff you actually clicked on this video for, shall we? Let's go. If you've made it to this far into the video, congratulations. Bonus. I'm also gonna use other new products that came out. We're just gonna slap it all together into one video and see what I think. So to get the canvas ready for the bases, I'm going to use the same primer on both sides and we're gonna try for the first time the Refi Face Primer Glow and Sculpt. Well, it seemed really interesting to me because it has this roller on it. So you're just supposed to roll this on, I'm guessing supposed to give like a nice little glow. This is not my usual primer, so I probably should be smarter about these kinds of things, but I'm just going for it today. We're just gonna go all out. Because I don't want the foundation to separate anywhere, I'm definitely gonna, you know, pat this in, and then I'm gonna let this sit and soak in my skin for at least a minute, and at that point, we will then go in with how I would normally set my base with concealer and foundation. I'll be back in one minute, okay? Okay, so everything's looking very hydrated, very glowy. Actually kind of dig this so far, kind of liking that primer. I'm gonna go in with my Yuge, which is the Dior Air Flash Perfector Concealer, and I just use it really quickly the warmth of my finger. You guys are probably absolutely sick of me using this concealer. I promise we're getting to the goods very, very shortly. All right, I think we're ready to rock and roll. So the Lancome Tenedal Ultra Wear Care and Glow has a broad spectrum SPF 27 in it. So sunscreen and a couple different oils that I've actually never heard of before, but are supposed to be skin smoothing ingredients. Ambient Soft Glow Foundation does not have that in it, but it's Ambient Soft Glow Hourglass. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go through and do this how I would normally do a foundation. So brush first, and then I will go through with a sponge, um, which is also a new sponge. Shade 7.5 in the Hourglass Ambient, and I have shade 330N in the Lancome Tinnitol Ultra Wear Care and Glow. I have no idea if these are the right shades, but we're about to find out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna actually pump the hourglass on my face. Oh my gosh, this looks really light. And I'm just going to go through and really press this in. Oh, actually this is looking like a pretty good shade. I always say go even a shade lighter if you're worried about it, because it's much easier to tint something a little bit darker with powder than it is to go back in Try to make everything lighter. Holy smokes. I mean, beautiful. I mean, that, that, that's beautiful. Um, up close is, well, that looks unreal. I don't know, I think that that primer too really gives it a nice glow. Super lightweight. I mean, dang near effortless to like spread across. Holy cow, that is absolutely 
stunning. Now it is a lot lighter than like, let's say like my chest, but this is easy to remedy for me with the powder and a little bit of bronzer. Let's try a long comb. I'm gonna go in and just apply little bits here. Oh, this one has a much heavier scent. Like with the hourglass, I didn't smell anything at all. Um, and this one definitely has a scent to it. Not a bad one. It's just like probably meant to be like a luxurious feeling or smelling. All right guys, here's what I'm saying. This is actually sinking into pores a little bit and emphasizing it more. It's not as full coverage as I would normally use. It's not bad, um, but it's it's definitely something I would personally wanna build up. Um, it does have a soft glow to it though, it's not terrible. But if I go to this side, this one is incredibly much more smooth across the skin. It is not sinking in as much. It really isn't emphasizing any texture. It just looks a lot more smooth. Like just looking at it side by side, for me here, what I see in person, this is much more smooth. Um, but I can see that this is, it, it's fresh. It's kind of, like if I hadn't had it next to this one, I would probably like this one, but this is peachy for me right now. Okay, so I'm going to take the new Dream Big Sponge from Beauty Blender. I'm not sure what the difference is on this. I should probably look it up. I guess I'm just a really horrible beauty YouTuber right now. I'm just going to press this in on both sides. Really try not to mix the foundations too much and move this around. So, so far actually I really like the primer. Like, especially on this side, you can see the gloss quite a bit more. Really pretty. So, on this side with the Hourglass, I'm going to use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Um, this is the Volume 2 collection, one of my all-time favorites. And what I like to do is just give it a big old swirly swirl, like this. Skills. <laughs> Makeup skills. And then I'm just going to tap this in right here. Oh my gosh, I forgot my concealer. Let's go back in and do that. Jessica! Okay, just really really quickly I'm just gonna go in with the tiniest amount of concealer here and blend that in really quickly I'm like everywhere today I'm all over the place I'm nursing a cold I'm healing from back surgery it's just a woe is me kind of day see told you that'd be fast <laughs> set my under eyes I'm going to use a little bit of my hourglass ambient lighting edit ghost palette can you tell I'm obsessed with hourglass powder and I'm just gonna use this really quickly to set this under eye area in this lightest shade right here, it's amazing. Then I'm gonna go in with the Lancome Absolute Powder. I actually keep this in a little tiny jar because I feel like it's easier to work with in the big jar. And I just take this, swirl it around in there, and I'll do this side. <sighs> Let's do a little close up before we go in with other products. So. This is the Lancome side. Um, even though that powder I use has a little bit more coverage than the ambient one, it still is very less full coverage on this side compared to the Hourglass. It's pretty, it's not emphasizing any texture. It looks kind of like my skin. I mean, this however is a totally different ball game. This is a little bit smoother, a little bit more coverage. That ambient lighting powder just really gave it that extra oomph that it needed. So what do you guys think so far? Like, what, side by side, make a guess. Like, which one you think is better? Which one would you wear? What do you like better, looks better? I mean, like, everything is so subjective in makeup. Like, what you might like might be something totally and completely different than what somebody else likes, which is what I love about makeup. So I'm gonna do a little bit of bronzing across the skin using my NARS Laguna Cream Bronzer. And we're just gonna really warm up the face and see if we can't even out this color a little bit more so it's not quite as noticeable from a distance cause like from a distance, it's not terrible but it is a little bit lighter and I'd like to sort of even that out. So we're gonna speed up this part because I think you guys all know what it's like to put on bronzer. <laughs>
Okay, a little hydration spray to sort of like set everything in. <sighs> Smells like Sunny D every time. Now, all I have left to do to complete this look is a little bit of a tight line and some lips, and then we'll do a little up close to see what everything looks like. And to do that, I'm going to use the new Makeup Forever Rouge Artist Forever Matte. This is a liquid, and I feel like a lot of companies came out with liquid recently as well. This is so cute. Oh my gosh. And I have the shade... Rose now and always. I like this one because I liked this applicator. Like, see how it's kind of just like a little, it's like smushed. I don't know, it's cute. So I'm not gonna use any lip liner. Terrifying, I know. And we're gonna try this out. It's a really pretty color. That is effortless. That went on absolutely easy and really beautifully. Feels like you're not wearing anything at all. I think that's why I want to keep reapplying it because it's like velvety and also really thin. So it kind of feels like you're not wearing anything at all. That's fascinating. Wow, I actually really, really like that. I think I would order more colors in that. It feels like I'm not even have anything on my skin and I imagine that this is gonna last quite some time but I will let you guys know in the description box in addition to all the products well actually the products that we're talking about in this video how they wore and what it looked like as the day went on I will always give you updates down in the description box below so that you know how it wore the rest of the day what I feel about it you know all that stuff okay so as I'm looking at this okay so here we are up close um, outside of the powder and the foundation, all the other products I used on both sides were the same. So you can take a look here, see for yourself what you think of both sides. Um, I mean, this side is just flawless. This side is pretty too. They're both good. They're both good. Um, and also note that when I was applying both of these, I felt like this side was so much easier. Like as you were watching it in real time, it was like so much easier. Like I just swiped it across and it like sunk in and was like airbrush pretty much. Whereas this one took a little bit more effort. It's not as easily glidable. So maybe it's a foundation that you'd want to use like a sponge with or pat in instead of just using a brush to sort of like let that sink in. But... There's a lot of opinions out there, you know, on what is better, what's not better, what's worth your money, what's not worth your money. Um, and it really is, again, subjective to everyone's opinions. For me, if I'm going to give a winner, an ultimate winner between these two, the winner would go to Hourglass. For sure, for sure, for sure. I'm a sucker for anything Hourglass. I do love Lancome, totally, but... Um, for me, I, I actually just think that this is not emphasizing any lines, wrinkles, or texture. And I, I don't have, I'm not 20 years old, so for me, that's great. I'd rather not emphasize those things. Um, I do think that this is a good foundation as well, but I'm going to play around with it a little bit more. Try to apply it different ways, use a little bit different products across the skin with it, and see how well it does with other stuff. Um, I just feel like overall, this one kind of is a little bit more, even though there's a glow product to it, it dried down a little bit more matte. Whereas this one was more of like a satin to semi-matte. Not as bad, right? So they're both good. Neither of them are like terrible, obviously. So I think that's all I got for you guys today. No, I am not done. This is future editing Jessica here. And I realized I didn't put any mascara on. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me today. Probably sick, all that jazz. But um, yeah, so sorry about the mascara. I promise I'll be better next time. Okay, bye. Let me know in the comments down below which one you like better, what would you prefer, and which one would you get? None? Or both? Or one? Or the other? As always, hit the subscribe button, I would super appreciate it. Definitely hit the notification bell so you can be reminded the next time I upload a new video. Hit the like button if you like these types of videos. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching guys, and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye!